We are back in Alabama. Game six, frame six between Southern and Alabama A&M. And there's Kaylee Walthow in the freshman from Hudsonville, Michigan. With some work left on this one. She fell off that shot at the end, pulled right through it. Kind of giggling about it. I mean, bad shot. Just got to come back and make the spare and go on. And will not make that spare. So their second open frame of this sixth game. An opportunity now for AM. Working off a spare. Here's Tiffany Clark. And leaves the three as the 10 goes down late. Ball picking up right at the end, goes a little bit high, almost to the Brooklyn, but didn't get the break. Takes care of that spare, so six frames, six spares for the Lady Bulldogs. One of the great things that's grown collegiate bowling is the coaching that is out there. There's so many opportunities for these girls to go out and get coaching and learn about bowling and, and how to get to the next level. So it's a growing process for a lot of them because they're young. LaCour with some work to do now on the right side. And Southern needs to get, get a mark here coming in off an open frame in the sixth. And it's been nothing but spares for A&M so far. Need to get a mark, get the team pumped up again. If get the momentum going. If they're not singing, dancing, shimmying, or chanting, something is wrong. Something is very wrong. And it is way too quiet on the southern sideline right now. That'll get them going. Very good spare. Uses her strike ball to shoot at the 3-6-10. First strike in game six for AM. They've needed more from her. Maybe that little pep talk from Coach McCorvey there on the last frame really helped out. Great shot, a little more up the lane. Looks like she had a little more ball speed. High flush. Up now, Denisha Foster, the senior. Bowling third for Southern. Falls the pocket. One team does it, the other team has to. And I'll tell you, that is one thing that can get you charged up, is when you see the other team start to strike and you're not, gives you just a little bit of extra motivation. Here's my girl, McClinton. <laughs> Through the nose and a little baby split. Changes his ball to shoot cross lane. Goes from the outside. That is a huge pickup for AM in this must win game six. Not the conventional way, like I would say, but you know what? At this point, you need the marks, and you know that's something that would get your team going right there. Here's Shivers working off a strike here in the foundation frame ninth. A strike back to back jacks for Southern that was a great shot a little more ball speed she looked like she went a little more up the lane trips that four pin she needs to continue to do that now McIntyre the Wisconsin native rolling setup here in the ninth yes both schools strike out in the ninth Getting interesting. I tell you, every time she's needed a shot, she's made a pretty good shot to the pocket there. Blows that seven pin right off the deck. And don't cheat me on the react. She enjoyed it. So now the pressure again falls on the anchor. Here's Vanessa Caldwell. Oh, 
That one seems a little awkward leaving her hand. As soon as you see the body motion at the foul line, whether someone steps off to the right or pops up, you know that they probably didn't make a great shot. Wasn't what they wanted to do. She got lucky enough to leave the five pin. She needs to make the spare. And she will pick it up. And A&M sitting in a really good spot now as they get set with their anchor in the 10th. And Caldwell could do her team some favors, let's say, with a big hit here. Never quite hooked into the pocket. Six go down, leaves four, so Southern will conclude with a 178 here in game six. And a big opening for A&M. And Whitney Smith does not have to do a whole lot to secure a win here. Still taking a little bit of extra time. She wants to make sure she makes a good shot. And she's been pretty clutch in the 10th frame. She's made some really good shots when she's needed to. Needs just nine to win. Needs nine, gets nine. Great shot by Whitney. So you do the math, and that's what they're ta tabulating right now, and A&M has won game six. And there will be a seventh and final deciding game here for the SWAC title. As Smith will hope to get at least one more toss, maybe two more. Takes care of the spare with the skull. And another chance to read the lane. In games like this, it's so apparent how important that ninth frame is before the tenth. Because you always want to be working on a mark to try to give you the most advantage possible to get into that tenth frame. This final toss here in the 10th. Gets nine to drop. So it'll be 190, 178 in game six. Game seven up next. And we welcome you back to Bessemer, Alabama, just outside of Birmingham for our seventh and deciding game of the SWAC Women's Bowling Championship Tournament. Southern versus Alabama A&M. It's been going back and forth all game long. Southern had the lead. Needed just to win game sixth. A&M came back, won at 190, 178. Now A&M opens up the seventh. Leaves the 10, does Tiffany Clark. Goes Brooklyn, gets the break though, only leaves the 10 pin. Needs to start her team off with the spare. Coach Jeff McCorvey has been coaching up his Lady Bulldogs all day long. Clark drills the 10, opens up with the spare, and now Southern, and Kaylee Walthorn, the freshman from Michigan, will step up. She doesn't waste much time, does she? No, she picks her ball up and just goes. Determination, knows what she's gonna do. Comes up just a little light. Two, five, eight. So we start off with matching spares. Not an easy spare to shoot at either, especially in the first frame. You need the ball to come in there.